This, this is really fascinating, I think, because um, you can see the image of that light bulb upside down, and it's actually, it's much sharper than you can see with the naked eye because it's too bright to look at, but if you look at the image in there, the detail that's in there is incredible. I'm Elliot Dudick, the new visiting assistant professor of photography at William & Mary. We're working on building the new photography program now, and one of the projects we're working on throughout 2015 is uh, a, a project to build camera obscuras all over the campus of William & Mary, including um, one freestanding structure that we're collaborating with the architecture students on um, to build a standalone building uh, uniquely designed uh, and interactive and open to the public. Uh, and to get that project started, we transformed the 3D room in Andrews Hall into a camera obscura, which we see here. So when the lights are all off in this room completely and the door is closed and we wait for about five minutes for our eyes to adjust, we can start to see the image of outside appear. When, when we transform a room into a camera obscura, w what we're doing is actually standing inside of a camera. So if we can imagine shrinking ourselves down into a handheld camera we normally carry around, that's what we're doing. We've just transformed this room into a, a dark box, which is what camera means. And we can actually see people walking uh, on the grounds below. There were just a couple people here. You know, what's happening here was known long before the invention of photography, centuries before. Um, but around the early 1800s, the, uh, the object was to try and figure out how to capture that image, how to, how to freeze that image for, for all time's sake, so that when you turned off this light, you still had that image. You know, everything, everything I do with the students, whether I've done it a hundred times or it's the first time, it's, it's an experiment and it's kind of playing with materials and, and light and manipulating uh, those, those materials um, or, or chemistry um, and seeing what happens. So The uh, Camera Obscura project kind of sprung out of the fact that 2015 is the International Year of Light as per the uh, United Nations educational, cultural, and scientific organization. Uh, if, it's, if it's the first time somebody's walked into a camera obscura, I think it's pretty hard not to be amazed.